Well, I'm Ken. Uh, I'm an inventor. Uh, I like to invent stuff that you know people have never seen before, exotic things. Um, come up with new ideas, basically research and development on my own, and pretty much recycle, make make the inventions out of recycled materials, plus to keep the cost down. So, uh, yeah, this is a robot I designed. I don't know, a while ago. I guess several years ago. It starts out from drawing. As you can see, I had to design it, make it look nice. And I figured, mm, let's draw this. Mud flaps to keep the treads, so mud went from flinging. So I went from this to little miniature models made out of paper, styrofoam, necks. Neck is made of lollipop sticks. These are cut up soda cans. Just, you know, regular stuff. The body's made out of uh, cardboard from Tostadas pizzas. Uh, hubcaps are made of wood. Bottom's made of, uh, what is that, balsa wood. All this is cardboard. Each one of these little fins were glued in with a pair of tweezers, so it was time consuming to get all the detail. But since I'm going to build it for real, the detail is very important. That way, um, any mistakes that I would make would be on the model, and I can correct the mistakes on the model before I build the real thing. That way, when I build a real thing, I'm not wasting my materials, you know, or my money, whatever. So that's, and I end up making. This was one of the first ones I made. As you can see, the detail wasn't that great. I wasn't really happy with the detail, so I went and, you know built it again. So that's one, that's one good thing about the models. I make a mistake or something I don't like, it'll be easier to do the corrections on the model rather than the real thing. The real thing would be a lot of work. And as you can see, you can see how it was pretty much made out of just, you know, boxes of whatever, art, art board, and just, you know, cardboard in here, paper. And I made the pieces where it comes apart. That way I can I can make individual pieces. So when I built the model, it all comes apart. The arms come off. I mean, it this part come everything comes apart. The head comes off. So you could pretty much see which each part would be focused on. Like I would focus on the arms, and to get the arms the same size, the technique was used to shape a thick piece of styrofoam like that and then just take a blade and slice it. That way you end up with both arms exactly the same size. That's a little technique that's used. That way I don't have to, it'll do away with uh, measuring. So I create my own measurements and just clone them. Make a copy, Let's put this thing back together here. Yeah, see it's just built, the model's just not built very good as you can see. And that's why I created the better one. Just a lot more detail, and it's got more bolts holding it on. And it shows what all the movements it can do. The head could raise up so it can look over fences. The arms move, the hands on this guy even rotates. So I gotta build these things for real, some kind of rotating uh, bearing with a servo in there. And in case if it rains, there's actually the neck servo is gonna be a waterproof sealed unit. It's even going to have a little drain tube that runs down and out the bottom of the robot. So if it rains on it, and normally water would fill in this thing and short out the controls or electronics. So everything is waterproof, sealed with a little drain tray. Plus there's, uh, there's going to be a strip of uh, a luminescent uh, strip on the inside to illuminate the, you know, the cool hydraulics and make it look kind of alien, like get a little blue or green glow coming out of there. And then these holes that you see at the top of the head are where the microphones are going to be positioned. So if a car is going down the street, I'd be able to tell which direction the sound is coming from. There's going to be a divider. There's a divider here and the, micro the right microphone this side and the other microphone this side. That way sound coming from this end will be louder on this microphone and not so much on that one. That way I can actually tell. It's kind of like stereo hearing. Instead of like stereo vision, stereo hearing, 
I'm doing it mechanically. I mean, you could do it electronically, but I don't know how to do that. So I did it mechanically. It works. And yeah, we'll just fold it all the way down. So that's this robot. It's these models. Yeah. Why don't we look at the working model that you've got of model. the larger one? Oh yeah. yeah. Let's go look at so, that. Yeah. I'll bring this to. So